Hello friends and acolytes of the galaxy and welcome back to the archives, we've been expecting you. Recently, we have talking about length about Sidious's own master Darth Plagueis, a man so influential and powerful in the dark side that his knowledge even shocked that of Sidious himself. The Dark Lord would be the penultimate Sith master before the realization of the Rule of Two. Some time ago, we did a video detailing all of Plagueis's most abhorrent experiments, where we pulled from his research notes in the Book of the Sith, as well as take a look at his novel, where we find out just what he did in order to achieve the power to manipulate the midichlorians. In that holocron, we mentioned that by the time he had fully mastered the powers of life and death, the Force was actively fleeing from him in disgust. So yes, the Force hated Darth Plagueis. We aren't entirely sure what this means though. But what we do know is despite all of his inherent power, Plagueis was still often denied certain abilities and insights in the Force and in the Book of the Sith itself. We learn that Luke Skywalker believes that the Force may have actually hated Darth Plagueis to his very core. So let's take a look at the exact passage and then look around at other sources and see if this claim made by Luke is supported anywhere else. Before we begin though, we have noticed that many of you using our archives have not yet subscribed, so if you like the holocrons that we debut here, be sure to win enroll in the temple by force crushing that subscribe button and becoming an acolyte today. Now my friends, let us begin. In Plagueis' chapter in the Book of the Sith, he starts his research notes by discussing the science of creating life, and his philosophy pertaining to why he had begun this journey in the first place. In this introduction, he reiterates his beliefs in the moral practice and scientific applications of the Force rather than the mysticism of it. He believes that modern scientists are ignorant of the Force, and Force sensitives exclusively focus on the spiritual aspect while ignoring or even rejecting all of the science behind the Force itself. Plagueis seeks to mend these to by studying the Force using alchemy in a way that has never been done before. At the very bottom of the page, we get this quote from Luke Skywalker concerning Plagueis. The element that Plagueis couldn't measure is the will of the Force. The Jedi hear this call, and I do believe that Sith do as well. I don't think, though, that the Force ever felt compelled to speak to Plagueis. So here, the note from Luke Skywalker, who believes that the Force was purposefully silent with Plagueis. Throughout the entirety of the chapter, there are several other notes from both Luke and Sidious who disprove or completely denounce certain conclusions that Darth Plagueis came to from his research. Again, not just Luke Skywalker, but also Sidious. But it's this quote in particular that stands out for me, because Luke admits that the Force speaks to both the Jedi and Sith alike, which means that he acknowledges that the dark side has a will of its own that it uses to commit Immune with the Sith. I kind of like that Luke validates the idea that their Sith are just as devout believers in their view of the Force as the Jedi are, and even acknowledges that the Force speaks to the Sith in a very similar way that it communes with the Jedi. Having said that, it's even more interesting to me that Luke would say this, and then at the same time say that he didn't feel like the Force ever felt compelled to speak to Plagueis, as if it wasn't the Sith themselves that was the outlier this time, but just Darth Plagueis himself. So what evidence do we have that supports this idea that perhaps the Force hated Darth Plagueis, and why did it hate Plagueis above other Sith? There are two definitive examples that we can find in the Book of the Sith, as well as in the Plagueis novel that we can draw from, as well as some information that we already know on hand about Plagueis as a person. Much like his master, Darth Tenebris, Plagueis saw the Force through the lens of a scientist and thought of it like an energy source and not so much as an organism with a breathing consciousness, but rather something that he could manipulate freely. While he knew that the Force was the source of all life and that midichlorians were all connected to one mind, he treated it more like a plant than a living energy. For example, plants are living things but don't really experience emotions or really have a strong will of their own. They have instincts that protect their own survival but not really a focused sense of discernment. I believe that this is perhaps how Plagueis viewed the Force rather than what the Force actually was, an entity with intention and a will of its own but Plagueis did not see it this way. Of all of the Sith alchemists in the past who bent the dark side to their will to create horrifying monstrosities, I believe that Plagueis rose above them as perhaps the most perverse of them all. The very antithesis of the Force itself is the idea of disrupting the cycle of life and death. You see, unlike other Sith Lords who wished immortality by essence transfer, where they left their dying body in order to possess a fresh new one, or Sith spirits that live beyond the grave and the physical, Plagueis had decided to disrupt the very natural flow of the midichlorians in a very different way than the other Sith and dominate their will with his in order to stay alive forever, disrespecting the midichlorians and the will of the Force to its very core. 
and when the Metachlorians all share one mind. It is reasonable to assume that it was an extremely strenuous process for the Force itself to have to basically be used against itself like that. No other Sith in history has managed to make something like that happen. Speaking of Sith spirits, Plagueis had once traversed to Korriban, the Sith homeworld, in an attempt to see if life after death was true, as he had heard legends about Sith spirits. But of course, as a scientist, wanted to see firsthand. But in all of his time looking over the tombs, he saw none, and therefore remained unconvinced in the afterlife. However, Sidious writes in the margins of this story that Sith spirits were indeed real, and that he had almost been killed by them once. I think it is possible that Sith spirits didn't even like Plagueis, and so they never made an effort to ever appear to him, perhaps as a result of Plagueis' dismissal of the mystical side of the Force, and the skepticism when it came to the many cosmic ideas of it. One of the biggest nails in the coffin came when Plagueis had repeatedly brought Darth Venomous back from the dead once he had perfected this ability. This is the passage from the novel. Then, by manipulating the Bith's midichlorians, which should have been inert and unresponsive, Plagueis had resurrected him. The enormity of the event had stunned Sidious into silence, but Plagueis had carried on without assistance, again and again allowing Venomous to die and be returned to life, until the Bith's organs had given out, and Plagueis had finally granted him everlasting death. After he plays yo-yo with Venomous's very life, the novel goes on to say that Plagueis becomes drunk on his newfound powers, and makes himself appear younger, while also setting out to not only master death, but also to create life itself. But that was ultimately what led to his dismissal from the Force itself, and the death of Darth Plagueis. The novel goes on to say this, the Force grew silent, as if in flight from him, and many of the animals in his laboratory succumbed to horrifying diseases. This went on for eight entire years, as the Force basically fell silent on Plagueis, but the Dark Lord was undeterred, and his power remained with him as his midichlorian count actually increased. I believe the final straw with the Force was when Plagueis and Sidious attempted to dominate it entirely in their ritual, a ritual that was meant to create the ultimate being of the dark side into existence. However, they thought their experiment was a failure, when in fact the Force itself was so fed up with Plagueis that it rebelled against him, and instead brought about the Chosen One of the Jedi Prophecy. I believe the Force hated Plagueis and every act that he committed, which is probably why it willed his death, and had Sidious kill him in one of the most undignified ways possible. In fact, if you follow the Darth Plagueis novel, you can learn that the Force itself, the Dark Side, reaches out to Sidious, prompting him to kill Darth Plagueis. Darth Sidious was actually going to leave the penthouse of Plagueis until the Force itself spoke to him, and I do believe that this is the Force speaking to Darth Sidious, just as Luke said it was capable of. Darth Plagueis died while he was passed out drunk. Darth Plagueis the Wise was an enemy of the Force because he perverted everything the Force was, which is life itself. Many of the Sith before seek to live for eternity, but they do not disrespect life itself in this pursuit. Darth Plagueis, on the other hand, did this to its entirety, and the Force itself decided to leave his body. If not for the midichlorians that Darth Plagueis had already dominated, he likely would have been left void of the Force entirely, and it could be said that out of every other Sith Lord in existence, the Force itself hated Darth Plagueis, as this is one of the only beings that the Force, even the Dark Side, attempted to flee from entirely. But anyway, students of the Force and Acolytes, what do you think of our assessment? Do you think that the Force itself actually despised Darth Plagueis? And do you believe it was for the reasons that we stated? As always, my friends, make sure to comment your thoughts down below. And again, may the Force be with you, and I hope to see you in another lore entry.